So this is our first attempt at doing some, it's called flipped learning actually. Right, so let's have a look. Um, this is our second lesson. And it's all about, if I used Polly and got the answers, so I've got the roots, what would the factors be that go with it? So if I've got x equals minus 1, from kind of like your maths going backwards, that would have been an x equals minus 1 for an x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I know that that is a factor. And for the x is free, if I rearrange it, x minus 3 is 0. So that's also a factor. So the graph that it would have come from is x plus 1 times x minus 3 is 0. So the idea for this is, say for instance, I'd started off with x squared minus 2x minus 3 is 0. I could have put it into poly and I would have got out the answers minus 1 and 3. But just for completeness, I would have written down the factors in between. So there's one there for you to have a go at. So you can have a go at it now if you want. I'll just remove the box. It's quite easy passing this one. There. Now I've got to be careful with B, because what happened when we first started teaching this, the new spec, is that people went X minus 4 over 5 and x plus 1 as the factors. But if you expand it, that gives you x squared. It didn't come from that. So this bit here was wrong. So what you had to do was rearrange it. So I had to take the 5 up and then take the 4 over. So my factor was actually 5x minus 4. So if I'd looked at the answer, x is 4 over 5, I automatically write now 5x minus 4 as a factor, and the x is equal to minus 1, gives me x plus 1. Now really, you would have had that original equation that you were starting with, which would be what? 5x squared plus x minus 4, or something like that. So there's one for you to have a go at. So let's see if you can do that one. I'll just reveal the box for you. There. So this one for C, I've got two of them. So I would have a 3x is 2. So 3x minus 2 is my factor. And I would have a 5x is minus 1, so 5x plus 1 is 0 as a factor. So I'm just going backwards. All I'm doing is going backwards from when I factorised something and solved it. So that would tell me it's 3x minus 2 and 5x plus 1 is 0. So it's just, all I'm doing is kind of like a go backwards. I'm cheating in essence. I get the values out from my calculator and use them so I know what it is. So there's another one there for you to have a go at. So have a go at that and see if yours matches with this answer. There. Now, I'll probably do, um, when the examples get bigger, I'll do one example per video. But because these examples are quite small, I'm going to do both. Now, I am going to, I'm going to show you how to do this. This is starting off. Um, from a full kind of question. So I need, oh, I say, please press escape is what I need to do. I know everybody, just going over to the computer. Uh. 
Right, so if I look at the first one, so I'm going to do menu, equation, which is A, if it works. This bottom corner of my board isn't working. It's no fun whatsoever. Hang on, let's move it over here a bit more. There, X in. And then F2 for poly. So F2. It's a, it's a quadratic, so I'm going to do F1. If it works. And I'm going to put in 6 minus 7 minus 3. So 6... 66 now. 6 minus 7 minus 3. And then x again to solve it. So it gives me out as an answer. So I'm going to leave a gap because I'm going to cheat and put my brackets in there. So I know that I've got out x is 3 over 2. So I know that I've got x is 3 over 2. So if I do the rearrange, that would be 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. Because I would have had x is 3 over 2. So 2x is 3. 2x minus 3 is 0. And that's my factor. The other one, if I press down, is minus a third. So I've got minus a third there. So if I take it up, it would be 3x is minus 1 then 3x plus 1 is 0. So the other factor is 3x plus 1. So the question we're just asking to factorise it and not to solve it. If it was a solve, it would have equals 0 on the end of it. Now there is a question for you to have a go at. See how much time I've got left. So I only have 10 minutes when I'm doing it, so, which is good for you, really. So if I move that one over there, so if you have a go at that one, so you'd put in poly, you put in 4, minus 16, 15. So I might do it now, actually. 4, minus 16, 15. I get 5, five over 2. So that would tell me it would be 2x is 5. So 2x minus 5 is one factor. Then I've got 3 over 2, so that would be 2x, take 3 with my rearrange. There. So I have x is 5 over 2, so 2x is 5, 2x minus 5 is my factor. Same idea with the x is 3 over 2. So 2x is 3, 2x minus 3 is 0. There. And that's factorised. So I'll move it over a little bit more. You all got that idea. You can't pause it anyway, can't you? Let's have a look at this next one. So the grass going to it's going to disappear. There. So into poly, I'm going to put minus 6, 7, and 3. It's very useful if you've got a calculator. So minus 6. I can go and do that. Move it that way a bit. 7 and 3. So if you look, that gives me 3 over 2. So that one will be 2x minus 3. And the next one down is minus a third. So that will be 3x plus 1. There. They're factorised, not solved. There. And that's really, really important. Oh, there's another one here to do, isn't there? Have a go at that one, and I'll do it now. What's my time on? Ooh, 9 minutes 15. So if I put in minus 6, 5, 6, I get 3 over 2, so that's 2x minus 3, and 2 thirds, so 3x plus 2. There you go. So our time run out? It's pretty much run out, hasn't it? There you go, that's that page done. Have a read of the next page, you've got some consolidation for the class. See you later, bye bye.